Hi guys and welcome to part 32 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On the last part we added our order models. Before we continue adding our order controller, let us first add our order repository. For that let's go to the data interfaces folder and here we add our interface for the order. I'm going to name it iOrder repository and it's going to consist of a single method which is the create order method. This is an interface, so we change the signature from class to interface. The next step is to implement this interface. So for that, let's go to the repositories folder. And inside this folder, we add a new class. We name it order repository. And we inherit from the I order repository interface. We are going to use this repository to get our shopping cart items and put them in the database. So for that, we need to inject both the AppDB context and shopping cart. And next we need to make the necessary changes in our create order. So inside the create order method we write order that the order placed. So the time when the order was done is going to be the data time that now. And then we add this order to our orders using the AppDB context. Next we need to get all the shopping cart items. And we get all the shopping cart items using shopping cart dot shopping cart items property. And after this step, for each shopping cart item, we need to create an order detail. So that's why we created on the previous part an order detail class. So here I'm going to write that for each item in shopping cart items, we are going to create an order detail. So we write var order detail is equal to new order detail. And inside the curly brackets, we are going to assign all the properties. So the amount is going to be amount for that item. The drink ID is going to be the drink that drink ID. The order ID is going to be the order that order ID. And the price is going to be the price for that drink. For each order detail that we create, we are going to add them to our AppDB context order details DB set. And at the end of the method, we need to save the changes so our data is saved in the database. So this is all that our order repository is going to have. On the next part, we are going to create our controller. And inside this controller, we are going to inject the order repository so we can interact with our orders. So thank you for watching and see you on the next part.